Hey guys, welcome to the new video, the journey to make an 18th century dress completely out of IKEA fabric continues. I have the bare bones of the bodice here and what I would like to do today in this video is to make the skirt, attach it to here and hopefully also insert the lining. I think I should be able to get all of that done. It's time to pull out some new pattern pieces for the skirt and then to cut my pattern out from the fabric. I do believe the skirt has some interesting pleats again, so that should be nice. I'm just, I'm just really excited to see how this will come together. It's going so well, guys. Look, the skirt is attached. It's looking wonderful, if I may say so myself. And I'm just, I'm so excited. This is happening. Look, it's an 18th century dress. The skirt is all pleated, sewn together and attached to the bodice. So next step is to insert the lining. I have done all the prep for the lining. So it is now boned along the back here. Um, I have folded back the ends of the sleeves and the next step is to insert it and I think after that all I have to do is hem the skirt. No, there is some more boning involved actually.
It is so nearly done, guys. I can't believe it. We have the dress fully lined with a skirt. Lining looks great. Very happy with it. It has some boning in the back here, inside the lining, and then some boning along the front to strengthen where the ties are going to be, which is actually the last thing I am still to do. So that's what I'm going to do today. Finishing touches. I still need to hem the skirt as well, but I need to put it on for that to determine the length. I'm really excited about the grommets that I got and the ties actually. Originally, I was going to go for kind of yellow or orange, kind of this very warm yellow color um, for the ties, kind of tying into this shade right here on the tulips. But then I saw these grommets, gold ones, and I felt really drawn to them because the other options were silver and black, neither of which I felt really went with the dress. But gold would be absolutely perfect, but gold looks horrible with yellow and orange. So I decided to go for red instead. And I found this beautiful shade of red that I think goes perfectly with the dress as well and would look wonderful with the gold grommets. I am still choosing not to do the eyelets by hand. Um, yes, that's a conscious decision <laughs> to save time, but also um, I just think it will be sturdier to use these and I can always go over them with thread and make them look like handmade eyelets after you know, if, if I do feel like I want to go for a more authentic look. It's time to insert these. In my stays video, um, you guys gave me the tip to actually not poke holes in my fabric, but to separate it or to make a hole not by cutting through the threads, by, but by pushing them apart with a knitting needle. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I'm going to try and stay home today for hammering down my grommets. I know much better what I'm doing now so I can do it faster. Um, and also with the renovations, I think if there's noise in the building, people are just gonna blame the person who's renovating. <laughs> oh, that's mean. But no, I think I can get it done fairly quickly and there's not that many of them this time. So I don't think it's worth traveling <laughs> just to do that. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Really excited. Let's get this done. I am in love. Guys, look! <laughs> Everything that is in the pattern is now finished. The dress is unofficially done, let's call it that way, because there are still a few little tweaks that I would like to make. But the base of the dress is finished and I just... Oh, I love it so much. I, I still... I kind of still can't believe that I actually made this. You know, the thing is... 18th century clothing was always this like amazing, unattainable mystery to me. And even when I started making my wedding dress, like I knew it was going to be hard, but the wedding dress kind of had an appropriate level of difficulty. Um, I mean, it took me months to make. It was really hard. I struggled a lot and then I had a nice result. But this was so easy. And I almost feel like I cheated or something because it's not supposed to be this easy but it really was. I mean I made this in a couple of weeks, 
could have done it much faster if I hadn't been filming other things in between. It was so easy to do. I ran into next to no problems making this, aside from the side issues um, on the pattern. And it turned out so great. I, I absolutely adore it. I do think my bump pad is maybe a little bit overstuffed. But hey, I might deflate that a little bit, but I kind of like the look as well. It's just, oh, it's so good. It's so good. I love it. Honestly, it's kind of all I want to wear now. But I do feel a little bit ridiculous going out like this. So I'm probably not going to do that. But if I could, I definitely would. I just adore it. I'm honestly very happy with the linen um, on the petticoat and the stomacher. I do think that it works. And maybe a brighter color would have distracted from the pattern a little bit too much. That being said, I do like the little accent in the red ribbon. And that is actually where I might do a little bit more. I'm thinking of adding some accents here and there, some embellishment maybe, and I definitely still want to change the chemise because this, this doesn't work. I don't, I don't like the neck ruffles. Um, I'm not a big fan of the arm ruffles either. I would kind of like to change them out for lace. So I'm gonna see if that's an option. I think that would be much nicer, like a much softer, more delicate lace. I think that would work better. Um, oh, one thing I did want to mention is that um, for some reason, there is like this extra eyelet on top here, which is way too high. Uh, Cause I already feel like, you know, this is closed up high enough or like as high as it should be. I think if I did it one higher, if I pull up the stomacher, this is, very modest, maybe a little bit too much. I kind of like it um, like this. I need some, some kind of ruffle to hide those. But yeah, that's what I still want to do. And of course, I still want to make my pockets because this needs pockets. I love how it has these giant pocket slits. So that is probably gonna be the last video in this series. I'm gonna do some embellishments, change the chemise, make pockets, and then do the official grand reveal. <laughs> For now, this is my progress. And I'm over the moon. I am so, so, so happy with it. And still pretty much in awe of the fact that I actually made this. I, I still, I still can hardly believe it. But all right, guys, that's it. That's it for this video. I'm going to end it here. I really hope you enjoyed watching again. One more episode. So if you enjoyed the series, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see the grand reveal in the next episode and all the little things that I'm still gonna tweak. If you would like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there are links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.